Gluten, yay or nay? Well, depending on who you ask, you get a wide variety of responses. So I just wanted to give my personal opinion and thoughts on this. I think, you know, answers run the gamut from, oh, only people with celiac disease need to worry about gluten, to people who think that gluten is like the new chicken little and the sky is falling and it'll cure all your problems if you get off gluten. Personally, with my experience, I always thought people that were sensitive to gluten were just wusses. That is until I started having really bad digestive problems, got a blood test done, and found out that I too was allergic to gluten. So that sucked for a while, trying to uh, stop eating gluten. But uh, when I finally did, I really felt a lot better. And then when I would go back and eat something like you know, vegan pizza or something with the gluten in it, I would just feel awful. My stomach would just tie up in knots and have all kinds of bad GI symptoms. So I think, you know, some the science kind of goes both ways. There's studies that say, oh, only people with celiac need to worry about gluten. And then there's studies that say, you know, everybody, every human being has varying levels of gluten sensitivity and it's pro-inflammatory. So I would say... Okay, number one, gluten is completely indigestible. It's like a very long protein that, you know, maybe your body can eliminate it pretty well, but it's not going to provide any nutritional value. It can't break it down and use it for anything. So you're basically better off not off without it. Now, if your body can eliminate it quickly, then maybe you don't need to worry. But I would say as general advice, try not eating gluten for you know, maybe a month. And if you find yourself, like, seriously craving it during that time, that's a key that you may be addicted to it or and that you may have sensitivity to it because a lot of the times, strangely enough, the foods that we are <sighs> allergic to, we often crave when we don't have. So it can take about 30 days to kind of cleanse out of that and then, you know, go 30, 60 days without it. If you have a really hard time <laughs> Going without it, that may mean that you have some sort of sensitivity because you may be addicted to it. Um, so when you go back after 30 or 60 days, try it again and see how your body reacts. Does Is it no problem or do you get skin issues or, or GI issues or fatigue? It can manifest with different people different ways. It's, it's kind of a strange, strange animal like that. So... You know, it's going to be a while until science decides, you know, comes to some sort of consensus on, on is gluten good for you or is it bad for you? Is everybody sensitive? Do only celiacs need to worry about it? Do, you know, what percentage of the population needs to worry about it? So until then, you kind of got to be your own doctor and experiment with it. And I would say if you're having sort of any idiopathic health issues, anything that's you know, wrong with your health and you don't know what it is, try cutting out gluten and, like I said, 30 to 60 days and come back to it and see how it affects you. So that's my thoughts on it. Would love to hear y'all's comments. So leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And please subscribe.